you don't have school on Monday. Enjoy. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Let's find out, did Isaac's, or Abraham's servant, find the right wife? Remember, he got to Mesopotamia, and he was praying to God. And he said, God, please, I have my cameos here, I have my camels. I pray that whoever is supposed to marry Esau comes and helps me with water for me and water for my camels, and I will know this is the girl. Okay, I will know it. So here we go, let's see. Let's read verse number 14 again. Verse number 14, because it's a beautiful verse. It says, Sea pues que la doncella a quien yo dijere baja tu cántaro te ruego para que yo beba y ella respondiere bebe y también daré de beber a tus camellos que sea esta la que tú has destinado para tu siervo Isaac. En el, y en esto conoceré que habrás hecho misericordia con mi Señor. Ok, so here we go, let's see what happens. Y aconteció que antes que él acabase de hablar, he aquí Rebeca. Rebeca, what? Que había nacido a Bethuel, mi, or hijo de Milka, mujer de Nacor, hermano de Abraham la cual salía con su cántaro sobre su hombro. Do you think this is the girl? Is it Rebecca? Mm, let's see. Y la doncella era de aspecto muy hermoso, virgen, a la que varón no había conocido, la cual descendió a la fuente y llenó su cántaro y se volvía. Is it her? Let's see. Entonces el criado corrió hacia ella y dijo, Te ruego que me des a beber un poco de agua de tu cántaro. Is it her? Let's see. Ella respondió, Bebe, señor mío. Y se dio prisa a bajar su cántaro sobre su mano y le dio a beber. Let's pass the number one. Let's see if she asks about the, the about the cameos. There she is. She is beautiful. She said, of course, you can have some of my water. And here, takes some of my water. And she even served it to him. Number 19. Y cuando acabó de darle de beber, dijo, También para tus cameos, sacaré agua hasta que acaben de beber. Ay, ay, ay. Can you imagine the siervo? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. This is her. Y se dio prisa y vació su cántaro en la pila y corrió otra vez al pozo para sacar agua y sacó para todos sus camellos. Y el hombre estaba maravillado de ella, callando para saber si Jehová había prosperado su viaje o no. Y cuando los camellos acabaron, acabaron de beber, le dio el hombre un pendiente de oro que pesaba medio ciclo y dos brazaletes que pesaban diez. Y dijo, ¿De quién eres, hija? Te ruego, te ruego que me digas. Hay en casa de tu padre el lugar donde posemos. Y ella respondió, soy hija de Betuel, hijo de Milka, el cual ella dio a luz a Nacor. Y añadió, también hay en nuestra casa paja y mucho forraje y lugar para posar. So, look, she did everything that God, that the servant asked God. She is of the family that Abraham wanted him to marry from. And she says, come to my house. I'll let you rest there for a little bit. And look what it says in verse number 26. Right, am I going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20, el hombre entonces se inclinó y adoró a, a Jehová. Y dijo, bendito sea Jehová, Dios de mi amo Abraham. Que no apartó de mí amo su misericordia y su verdad. 
guiándome Jehová en el camino a casa de los hermanos de mi amo. Y la doncella corrió e hizo saber en casa de su madre estas cosas. Y Rebeca tenía un hermano que se llamaba Labán, el cual corrió fuera hacia el hombre a la fuente. Y cuando vio el pendiente y los brazaletes y en, su, en los manos de su hermana que decía, Así me habló aquel hombre vino a él. Y he aquí que estaba con los camellos junto a la fuente. There you go. She, he brought gifts and there he is with her. Okay, because he has an important question asked this family, right? Look what it says in verse number 31. Y le dijo, ven bendito de Jehová, ¿por qué estás afuera? Fuera, perdón. He preparado la casa y el lugar para los camellos. Entonces el hombre vino a casa y Labán desató los camellos y les dio paja y forraje y todo eso. And they were talking in the house. Okay, we're not going to read the whole thing because it's very, very long. But they were talking in the house. He was introduced to the family and he explained why he was there. And when they mentioned Abraham, everybody was super excited. And he says, I need a esposa for the hijo of Abraham Isaac. And they didn't even know Isaac yet because Abraham had left Mesopotamia before they had Isaac, right? So they're so excited. They have a sobrino and everything was going great, right? So let's see what happens. So it says in verse number 61. So what do you think? Do you think that Abraham's servant can take Re Rebecca and make her the wife of Isaac? The family said yes. The family said yes, and the servant wanted to leave like super, super rápido. And the family said, oh, but you can stay for a few days. And he said, I don't want to. I want to go back and tell Abraham I did find the wife that God has for him, for his son Isaac. And they, and they said, okay, let's ask Rebecca. Rebecca, do you want to go now or do you want to wait a few days? And she said, I'll go now. I'll go now because she was excited to do what God wanted her to do. Okay, so look what it says in verse number 61. Entonces se levantó Rebeca y sus doncellas y montaron en los camellos y se siguieron al hombre. There they are. They're all going back to the land. Y el criado tomó a Rebeca y se fue. Y venía Isaac del pozo del viviente que me de porque él había habitaba en el Neyel. Look, here comes Isaac. He, he's going to see his new wife and there is the wife. And look what it says. Y había salido Isaac a meditar al campo a la hora de la tarde y alzando sus ojos miró. Y he aquí los camellos que venían. Rebeca también alzó sus ojos y vio a Isaac y descendió del camello. Okay, look, I don't know. The girls are probably like, oh, look, amor. And the boys are like, ay, no, guacala. Okay, but this is great because it's God's plan and he needed a wife to be the father of Israel. So it says in verse number 64, let me look at it again. Rebecca también alzó sus ojos y vio a Isaac y descendió del camello. There she is. Porque había preguntado al, al criado, ¿Quién es este varón que viene por el campo hacia nosotros? Y el cre, criado había respondido, Este es mi señor. Ella, ella entonces tomó el velo y se cubrió. Porque she wasn't married yet. Entonces el criado contó a Isaac todo lo que había hecho. Y la trajo Isaac a la tienda de su madre Sara y tomó a Rebeca por mujer y la amó. Oh, la amó. They got married. Now they're casados. Y se consoló Isaac después de la muerte de su madre. What a beautiful story. And it's because, perdón, there's heroin. They had a beautiful story because they all obeyed God. Abraham obeyed God by finding a right wife, and he got the servant to obey him. 
The servant obeyed God by obeying Abraham and by praying for direction. Rebecca re obeyed God by being a male to the man that came and for going when she found out it was the plan of God. And Isaac um, obeyed God when he listened and, and trusted his dad. How cool, right, guys? Ah, I love that story. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do in today's Bible um, journal? We have this one right here, Thursday. Write one thought from reading this week. You guys have been doing that. Good. Tell me what you want to learn or what you want to remember. These things up here, the theme, the people, and what you re want to remember. And then these three down here. It says, what do you think Esau and Abraham were doing when the servant was looking for Esau's bride? So the servant was over in Mesopotamia. ¿Qué estaban haciendo y Abraham y Isaac? I believe that they were praying. I believe for some time they were praying. How do you think things might have been different if Rebecca had refused? I know que pasaría si Rebecca dijo que no quería ir. That'd be bad. And who prepared Rebecca's heart to agree to go to Isaac? ¿Quién preparó la, el corazón de, de Rebecca para irse? Okay, let's pray. Proud of you guys. Have a great day. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. I pray that you help us to obey you and pray for you to teach us the things that we need to know and the decisions that we need to make, just like the people in the Bible story today taught us, Lord. I pray for each of these students that you make them people that will follow you for the rest of their life. I love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. I love you guys.